We've been exhibiting for 13 years at the Auto Jumble now, uh, under some of our different business names. So we've got SU Carburetors, and then our Austin Pedal Cars. We've been here for three years now. So we make SU carburetors, which are carburetors for classic British cars. We also make AML carburetors, which are for classic British bikes. And we make all the parts and sell restored Austin J40 pedal cars. It's just a good friendly vibe here. Obviously you get a lot of people who come from abroad to look at the things we sell. And uh, yeah, it's just a good weekend to meet and network with people. So this is uh, one of our Austin J40 pedal cars. Um, we do all the parts for them. So we do the upholstery, all the wheels, bumpers, grills, everything like that. Uh, they're classic British made pedal cars. So there's about 32,098 made altogether. So we make all the spares for them and it allows people to do things like the race at the Centrum Cup at Goodwood. Uh, people have them for collector's items and they're just good at a good bit of British history, really. the main thing is the people really um, we're all like-minded enthusiasts and we all collect different things and people come here for different reasons but I enjoy the banter um, I mean most of the stock that I have I can sell on eBay quite easily but I love selling to people and uh, the look in their faces when they find a, a particularly collectible item that they like because um, I deal in automobilia rather than car parts so toys uh, vintage radios etc scale extra um, and you know, I've done really well the last couple of days. I mean, today's slightly quieter, being a Sunday, but it's a fabulous event. I've been coming as a visitor for over probably 30 years, very nearly, but as an exhibitor, about 15. So, um, yeah, it's just the people, the atmosphere. You see, I've been entertaining friends and what have you at the stand. They come and seek me out. Regular customers come and seek me out. It's great, great atmosphere. I mean, I'll pick out this particular item here. It hasn't sold today, but it's not for everyone. But I did sell a set yesterday. This is a vintage Skelectric set um, from 1962. And the thing about this, which sets it apart from the later sets, they used to make the track out of rubber. Uh, it's rubbery. Contemporary sets are made of plastic and they clip together. This clips together, but you have to clip it together with little, little clips. So it's very early on. Um, and the early sets ran on battery instead of having a transformer. So they had a little battery box uh, where you put your batteries in called the powerhouse, which looks like a little power station. So that's quite a cute thing. Um, and the other thing that distinguishes the, uh, I can't get that back in, but I'll do that in a minute. Um, the drivers had oversized heads when, because it's very much a toy, of course. They had large heads compared to their bodies. Um, and uh, they, scale electric, as they went through the years, started to, make them all the same scale after a while so um, that's what distinguishes an early set I think that the year after this set was out they made start to make it in plastic or plexi plexi track they call that I think uh, and then the heads got smaller so <laughs> a useless fact but Skeletrix guys like that sort of thing you know like that detail we've sold quite a few radios but this one's quite interesting if I can bend down <laughs> it's two days of standing up um, this is, would have been a, uh, a car portable, so this one actually, as, you, as its name implies, made by EverReady, a famous battery company, uh, this would have gone into a car and been slotted into a rack. So um, the idea was that you had it in the car as your main radio, it connects at the back, but then when you went on a picnic um, or just out for the day, you could pull it out of the rack and carry it around as a portable. So that's 
it runs on battery or, or off the car battery. But the thing is with the rack, that's long gone because the car's been scrapped and it's probably ended up in the scrapyard in the sky. Um, but the, the radio remains. But like you said earlier, I'm surprised that hasn't gone, but that could go in 10 minutes time. These were plonked on your window. You wound your window down and if you sat in the car on a rainy day and you stick that either on the inside or the outside, and that's for putting a cup of tea on uh, and your sandwiches yeah. on the door. I mean, cars like Jaguars had picnic trays in the back that doors to drop down, but your average man who had a Morris Minor or something, he'd have something like that to clip onto the door. Um, and the rest is just general stuff, really. Uh, and it's surprising what automobilia fans buy. But um, record players, that picnic, that's, a pic, that's a backdrop in a record player, picnic record player. And then the rest, I Spy books. I'll, I'll finish off. But, uh, there's a very early I Spy book. Um, as children, you'd be bored in the back of a car, so you'd uh, have one of those, and you'd be spotting cars and ticking them off as you saw them. So they still make those today, but they're much, much changed. So that's from the 1950s. Thank you.